In the previous video, we looked at synthesizing music to generate some simple music notes. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to extract frequency domain features. We discussed earlier how to convert a signal into the frequency domain. In most modern speech recognition systems, people use frequency domain features. After you convert a signal into frequency domain, you need to convert it into a usable form. MEL frequency Kepstrahl coefficients, i.e. MFCC, is a good way to do this. MFCC takes the power spectrum of a signal and then uses a combination of filter banks and discrete cosine transform to extract features. If you need a quick refresher, you can check out practicalcryptography.com. Make sure that the Python speech features package is installed before you start. You can find the installation instructions at this website. Let's take a look at how to extract MFCC features. So we move on to our editor. We create a new Python file extractfrequencyfeatures.py and here we import these packages. Now read the input frequency.wav input file that is already provided to us. Then we extract the MFCC and filter bank features. Next we generate the parameters to see how many windows were generated. Let's visualize the MFCC features. We need to transform the matrix so that the time domain is horizontal. So here we do this. Let's now visualize the filter bank features. Again, we need to transform the matrix so the time domain is horizontal. As we are now ready to run our code, let's move on to the command prompt. The full code is in the extract frequency features.py file. As you run this code, you get this figure for MFCC features on your screen. You also obtain another figure which depicts the filter bank features. You can see on your terminal we got the number of windows and also the length of each feature for both MFCC and filter blank. Cool. In this video we've extracted frequency domain features. In the next video we'll dive into building hidden Markov models.